All right, friends, this is this 4.0 Jeep. We're going back together with it. Uh, I bought it, and it had lifter chatter that just got worse. Um, how do we know it's lifters? Because when you start it, it sounds like a knock, and then as it warms up, it slowly goes away and gets quiet. If it was a rod bearing, it'd get louder as it warmed up, not quieter. Uh, pulled the lifters out, and, and of course, before we took it apart, we were able to put our hand on the rocker arm as the engine was moving and make the chatter disappear. So what you're getting is basically bounce off of all of the components up here in the valve train. Um, now you should be able to identify a bad lifter by taking a, a nice sharp edge like a like a screwdriver and uh, run it down right here on top and, and put pressure on it and it should feel spongy. That didn't happen. All these lifters checked out, but I guarantee you, we have lifter chatter. Now, if we fire this thing up and we've still got some chatter, um, then we're gonna be playing with lash. We're not gonna mill the head, right? So, so right in here, there's your mating surface with your block for your rocker arm. You mill on the block. Do not mill on the head. Understand? Mill on that block for the rocker arm because you can replace it. <laughs> you screw up on this head. You're, you know, you're putting washers on it and doing all kinds of crazy shit. So let's let's avoid milling on the head. But hopefully we won't have to mess with any of that jazz. Now I wanted to give you a tip on these big long six cylinders. Uh, when you take them apart. Break them loose at the ends, the back and the front. The front head bolts, one, two, three, four. The back head bolts, one, two, three, four. Back those guys loose first before you go to the middle. Because if there's any tweakiness on this head, it, it's gonna it's gonna tweak. And it's you know, I don't want to take a chance. It's a big old piece of cast iron. Just take it off evenly and put it on evenly. It's kind of like, uh, you know, peeling up a piece of cookie dough. You peel it up from the edge, not from the middle, right? Why? Because you compromise the structural integrity of your cookie. Let's not compromise the structural integrity of our cookie. So, again, start at the outside. Work your way in when you're coming off. Same goes with the intake and exhaust. Work your way, when you come off with it, work your way from the outside in. Now... When you go back on, work your way from the inside out. You want to flatten it out just like a cookie dough, right? Go from the inside back, inside front. Now, I, torque sequence is not super important. If, as long as you start in the middle, like one, two, three, four, and then back here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So I do, and, and that number, you can go in, in pretty much any sequence as long as you start in the middle, work your way out just like that. But I did those two last because I have to use an extension and the extension comes off for those two. Now, uh, torque spec is 110 for everything except this guy right here. He goes into a water jacket that's 100. So I basically just did all of them at 100. That extra 10 is not going to make much difference at all, if any. I gave everything a little, a, a little more of a turn after I hit 100, except for this guy. I was real careful with him because it's only got like four or five threads in that water jacket because it goes straight through. Now, you want to make sure you put some silicone on that. Anything goes into a water jacket, put some silicone on. All right, so just remember, work your way inside and out. And when you got this head off, take your straight edge and put your straight edge up on that head like that and go caddy corner, caddy corner, straight across in the middle, straight across on the intake exhaust side, straight across on the push rod side. Uh, look for daylight in between and then take yourself a four thousandths uh, feeler gauge and slip it. Like if you, you mate the surfaces up like that, Slip your 4,000 gauge in there, and if the 4,000 gauge bumps and you get a little bend out of it and you can't slip it through in any area of that straight edge, 
then you're good to go. And put a little pressure on the straight edge. Uh, but this head had no warpage at all, zero. Everything looked great. I'm really happy with the outcome. Uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section. And uh, I, I hope this helps you out with your with your longer heads. If you got uh, if you got a straight six or straight eight, you're working on. Always make sure that you start in the middle when you start torquing down, because it's very easy to screw these things up. You can if you don't do it right, you know, you can end up with a broken head, warped head. You know, there's there's no sense in messing it up. Let's do it once. Do it right. Have a great day.